What's going on guys? This is Vince with vshred.com and today I got a biceps and triceps workout for bigger arms using cables only. All right, like I said today, I'm gonna take you through an arm workout that you can do needing only a cable machine. This is gonna be great for anybody who goes to the gym during busy or peak hours, and it's always it's hard to find a bench to get down on, or you're always moving around the gym and trying to find open exercises. I've been there, and it sucks. So if you go to the gym and you're trying to hit arms, this is a way that you can hit arms, biceps and triceps, and great exercises using just a cable machine. So it's gonna be four exercises. We're gonna hit triceps first, and then it's gonna be four exercises for biceps after that. The reason we're hitting triceps first is because, like I said, we're going for bigger overall arms here. And because the triceps take up the latter percentage of your upper arms, that's going to help you get bigger arms in general by hitting triceps first. So the first exercise that we got is right here with the rope extension and that's exactly what it's going to be. So you're gonna get down into a position here and you're gonna get into starting position. So you're not starting up here with your elbows elevated. You're going to bring your elbows down and you're gonna get your elbow into a 90 degree position here. This will be starting position from here. And also you'll notice that I'm about a step back from it. I don't like coming up here because when you get down at the bottom, your arm is almost parallel to the cable and it becomes a lot easier. So being down here makes it difficult. So starting a 90 degree position, you're going to focus on keeping your elbows in the same spot the whole time, extend your arm, flexing down at your tricep as much as possible. Naturally, if you do this right, you're going to have your hands come out a little bit so that it spreads the rope a little bit rather than trying to overextend. People always think that when you do a cable extension, you're supposed to overextend at the bottom. You're not really supposed to do that. What happens is naturally, as you straighten your arm, it's going to it's going to open up on its own. So coming back up, I'm gonna stop right there at 90 degrees and back down. So you're not bringing it all the way up here because you're going to allow for momentum. So going down, squeezing, back up at 90 degrees, stop, and back into it. So you're gonna go 10 reps there, you're gonna rest for a minute in between, and you're going to do three sets. After that, I'm going to switch out the cable for an easy curl bar. And here, what we're going to do is almost like a skull crusher, it's just a variation that's gonna be hitting the tricep the exact same way. It's gonna be great for that big, chunky part of your tricep. And you're going to push this weight out. I like to stick my butt back against the bar, that way it's just better stabilization. And here, you're gonna keep your elbow, you're gonna keep your elbows um, elevated up as high as they can, and you're gonna keep your tricep or your elbow right there in that same position the whole time. From here, you're gonna drop back, you're gonna go to 90 degrees, and then you're going to extend as much as possible, squeezing at the top, and back down into a 90 degree position, and squeezing at the top. Notice I'm not going to go all the way back down here, because that's gonna to put too much unnecessary pressure on your elbow joint, and allow for momentum. So, stopping at 90 degrees, pressing out, squeezing, going back down 90 degrees, pressing out, squeezing, just like that. So again, we're gonna go for 10 reps, you're gonna rest for a minute in between, and do three total sets. And after that, we're gonna move into the, a very similar um, extension. We're gonna be using the easy bar again, but this time, rather than do an overhead, we're just gonna do a regular extension. So here, I'm gonna use the inner grip of this easy bar. It's gonna be just easier on your wrist. And then I'm going to, again, take a little step back away from this. And I'm going to focus on keeping my elbow in that position the entire time, very similar to what I did with the rope. So this is my starting position, elbows at a 90 degree angle. And then I'm going to press down, squeezing my tricep to the bottom, get that full extension of your elbow. And then you're gonna bring it back up stopping at 90 degrees and squeeze it back down. And notice my elbow is not coming forward or moving backwards, staying right there in that same position, squeezing back up 90 degrees, squeezing back up 90 degrees. So you'll do 10 reps again, one minute rest, three sets, and we'll move into the final exercise for triceps. So to finish up triceps, we're gonna be adding the, the just the handle to the cable. So we're taking off the easy bar and we're gonna be doing one arm at a time here. So we're gonna be doing single arm tricep extension pause grips. So I'm gonna grab this handle and I'm going to have my palm facing down. From here, I'm gonna get into starting position, which is going to be 
with my elbow down by my side and my elbow in a 90 degree position. From here, what you're going to do is extend your arm down all the way to full extension and pause. I'm gonna pause for three seconds. So one, two, three, and you're not resting at the bottom. If you're right here, it's almost like you're just holding it down. But when you're back here, you're working your tricep a lot more. So one, two, three, that was like 10 seconds. Back up, 90 degrees, and into the next rep. One, two, three, and back up, and down into the next rep. One, two, three, and into the next rep. And you're gonna do the exact same thing with your other arm. Starting position, squeezing down. One, two, three, back up, down. One, two, three, and same thing. You're gonna go for about 10 reps again here. And one thing that you're gonna have to do is make sure that you are dropping weight because as you're doing single arm and as you're doing pause reps, it's going to become a lot more difficult and you still wanna focus on form and squeezing out your triceps. So you'll do three sets of this as well and we'll be done with the triceps and ready to move on to biceps. So the first bicep exercise that we're gonna do are rope hammer curls. Now the reason I like doing uh, rope hammer curls just because they're very similar to dumbbell hammer curls and dumbbell hammer curls at least for me personally have helped with my bicep development loads more than just starting with like a regular preacher just regular dumbbell curls just because they are better at helping uh, the peak the outer head of your bicep the long head um, so with these rope curls uh, some people like starting with it down near the metal of it I personally like starting uh, with my hands up near the rubber just because it helps with being able to lift more weight because it's more work on actual bicep rather than squeezing down with your forearm as much as possible taking away from the biceps so here i also you're going to notice i'm stepping about a foot back from this cable because uh, when i am up at the top it's much harder on my biceps as it's up at the top versus right here when my forearm is nearly parallel to the cable so starting back here I'm going to start at the bottom, I'm going to roll my shoulders back, stick my chest out, and I'm going to curl this weight up, squeeze at the top, and return back down to starting position just as slowly as you curled the weight up. So curl up, go down just as slow. Curl up, go down just as slow. So you'll go for 10 reps here, three sets, a minute rest in between, and we'll move into the second exercise. All right, the next exercise we're gonna be doing are easy bar knee curls. So you might've seen these in the, one of the videos prior to this, but I'm gonna grab this easy bar. It's gonna be down at the bottom again as well. Uh, I'm gonna grab the inner handle on this, and then I'm going to bring this bar back and out, and then I'm going to squat down, placing my elbows on my knees. It's very similar to what a preacher curl would be. And then from here, I'm going to focus on using those knees as my point of leverage here and squeezing up with my biceps. So this is a great bicep exercise for the full range of motion. Just make sure your shoulders are pressed down and you're squeezing up with your biceps, squeezing at the top and returning down back in a slow controlled position, in a slow controlled manner. You don't want to go uh, and then squeeze up and, uh, and squeeze this weight up, squeeze the top and control it on the way back down. Squeeze it up and control it on the way back down. So you'll go for 10 reps here as well. Same 30 set or same minute rest and three sets of this exercise as well. Move into the next bicep. And for the next exercise, we're gonna be doing a pronated easy bar curl. So we're using the same easy bar curl bar that we've been using. And but this time we're actually going to use um, your hands with your palms facing down rather than up. So a pronated position with your wrists and we're also going to be grabbing the outer grip of the bar here. Again, I'm going to be stepping back foot, and then here, I'm gonna be keeping my chest out, and I'm going to keep my elbows in that same position. You don't wanna bring them forward as you curl up. You wanna keep them right there, locked into place. You're gonna curl this weight up, squeeze at the top, return back to starting position just as slow as you curl the weight up. So squeeze it up, turn back slowly. Squeeze it up, return back slowly. Just like that. So, same thing, 10 reps, three sets, one minute rest in between, and we'll move on to the fourth and final bicep exercise. And last but not least, the final exercise that we're gonna be hitting is easy bar curl negatives. So, this one you definitely wanna be careful with your form, you make sure you're not pulling any muscles here um, in your back because you are going to be cheating the weight up and then focusing on a slow and controlled negative portion. It's gonna be amazing for breaking any bicep 
growth plateaus that you have or strength plateaus that you may have. So I'm going to grab the easy curl bar. I'm going to have it uh, in the inner grip again here. And I'm going to step back. And like I said, you're going to be cheating this weight up. So you're going to go a little heavier than usual and focusing on the negative portion, the eccentric contraction here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend over a little bit and then I'm going to use an explosive motion from here to here so that I can use a little bit of momentum to get that weight up, just like so. But what you don't want to be doing is staying straight and going like that. You don't want to do that. So I'm going to be using a little bit of glute activation here to, ex to explode forward like that, getting this weight up and then controlling it as slowly as I can on the way back down. So bending forward, exploding up, controlling it, and try to make it even as slow as 10 seconds on the way back down. Really focusing on that bicep activation. Knee forward, explode up, control it on the way back down. Just like that. So you'll go for it. Eight to 10 reps here, depending on how much you got left in the tank after this bicep tricep workout, and that's going to be it for the whole workout. So there you have it, a full bicep and tricep workout that you can do using just the cables. Try this out. If you guys are looking for more help beyond this with getting in shape, I have a free body type quiz that tells you exactly what to do to get in shape for whatever your specific goals are. If you wanna check that out, you can click the link in the description below this video. If you guys like this video, make sure you're clicking the thumbs up button below. If you have any questions about the video, topic recommendations, leave them in the comment section. And last but not least, make sure you are smashing that subscribe button and the little bell next to that subscribe button. That way you get notified when I post a new video. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.